How do we know you're cops? Well, Stephen Michael Casada's character may have exited the series Breaking Bad in a hail of gunfire, but his career hasn't taken a bullet just yet. He's gone back to his comedy roots, and he is just yet. killing. Just yet. <laughs> I added the just yet. Oh, okay, good. Um, and he's right. killing I love the that. comedy stand-up circuit. We want to welcome him back, Stephen Michael Casada. Thank Did I say you. your name right? That Casada is perfect. You got it. That scene was so scary. It I was like this the whole time. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! So oh my intense. gosh! It was so Let me tell you a little f a funny story about that scene. Uh, we were rehearsing it. And, uh, you know, Uncle Jack goes, hey, show us your badges. How do we know you're cops? I go, because Dean Norris plays a cop in every TV show. You don't know that. <laughs> and everybody started laughing during the rehearsal. And Brian Cranston took a picture of us laughing with my camera at that exact moment. And so I was able to, once, once this aired, I was able to post this to Facebook, and it just blew up. Oh, really? Such a oh, wow. funny, cool. funny photograph. Everybody's holding their guns, at. and y'all laughing. Because we enjoyed working. We enjoyed being at work. And even though we were at this end of this really great journey, mm -hmm. and it was really emotional for me and Dean, you know, just because we played partners for six years. Yeah. And we're really good friends on and off the screen. We were. We played a lot of golf. We, we both started in theater. We had a lot of, you know, we both had a million kids. We had a lot in common, <laughs> you know. See, and is it... Is it difficult in some aspects being part of such a phenomenon that the, that Breaking Bad was? You just don't you don't work thinking that's ever going to happen, right? You, as an actor or a comic, you're just happy to have a gig. Yeah, and yeah. so, as an actor, I was very happy to to have gotten this gig. When we shot the pilot, we didn't know it was going to blow up like this. And you know, to be considered one of the best TV shows ever yeah. made is just crazy. You don't ever think that. No one goes in thinking that it's yeah. Turn you know, when I'm that. standing there with the SAG Award this last weekend, you know, <laughs> I'm going wow. Is that a fun humble brag for you to go? Oh, me and my SAG Award. There's the picture. Look at that thing. picture. Did you ever? Oh think, yeah. See did yeah. You right. Ever think right that you'd there. be able to say, oh, me holding my SAG Award? No. Oh, that you don't that's you awesome. just don't think that's ever going to happen and you don't work thinking that's going to happen you work because you need to feed your family it's just a is job is there you know? do you still like geek out or get like fanboy around any big actors like is there are there any actors that like maybe your experience at the SAG Awards that you saw and you just yeah, like had you know, to step back for a second and go I'm like a hillbilly me and my <laughs> wife are there with our <laughs> cell phones and we're like yeah. take, a take a picture take a picture you know I mean I saw Robert De Niro and, and I sat wow. in the front row where Rita Moreno won her Lifetime oh, Achievement my Award gosh. the first she Latina awesome. Or Latino, or win that award. That I'm sitting in the front row going, "Yay!" Yeah, that's you know, she, wasn't she just breathtaking? She I was, that was and I can't moment. believe she cussed. I was like, <laughs> Okay. How cool is it to be where you are now, but to think back where you started as a young child in, in the, uh, community theater? Yeah. You know. And you were building sets and doing things that were just way humble beginnings. It, I mean, I think everybody should start there, right? I think you should be able to have respect for whoever works mm -hmm. on your set. And so I actually do have that. I did. I started, you know, designing posters and sets. And I even went to beauty school and learned hair and makeup. Really? You know, I wanted to know every aspect of this business. And so I went out and learned it. And so when I stand on set, you know, and I see actors who come on set and there's this mm -hmm. and that, I'm like, dude, With you, their people. you say a line for a living. Right. Something yeah, that somebody else wrote. Mm -hmm. Someone right. else wrote it. Right. And, and all of a sudden you need green M&Ms and the half part of a pineapple. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> really? You know, it's crazy. Doesn't it give you a greater appreciation for where you are now? It does, you know, because we I know it takes a whole group of people to make mm -hmm. a show happen. It's it not just the people That's yeah, right. up front. So I love it. Uh, and I love the people. And Breaking Bad, you could tell we all loved each other. And it showed on screen. And I think that's what's special about Breaking Bad, to me, more than anything. Is that what people responded to, you think? I think they did. I think it really happens. Because believe me, I'll be on sets. I'll be doing guest spots. And people are yelling. And I'm going, you're making a TV series for a living. Why are you guys yelling at each other? Yeah. And it kind of shows when you see the work. Yeah. You know, I just did a movie in Oklahoma called Light from the Dark Room. Everybody was so nice. And the director was so great. I know it's going to be a great film. Right. Just because of that, you just so feel, that energy you can feel it. the yeah. energy. Vibe. When you put out a good vibe, you get good vibe back. Mm -hmm. When you put out a bad vibe, you get bad vibe back. And but we I all also, know that. I also think when, when you enjoy and you really love who you work with, it really shows. It does. Now, if your daughters came to you and said, or maybe they already have, Daddy, <laughs> I, I want to be um, a TV star, what would you say? 
My kids don't even watch Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> they have no, my my, okay. my oldest daughter likes hair and makeup, and that's cool. But How old my, are they again? Uh, is it, she's uh, 18, 16, and 13. This oh is fancy. Gosh. She's hey. our mascot. Hey, what's happening? Sorry. See, he, I said female, and here she came. Yeah, yeah. She comes. she's like uh, lady. Yeah. And so you know, my middle daughter wants to go to Stanford and study law. They have their own lives. They have mm -hmm. their own things. So they're like not even phased by they, like, whatever. Yeah, you know. So I I, I feel sorry for my youngest daughter because she looks like me, and they call her. Gold me and so I felt bad for her. <laughs> but she'll, you know, she'll get over it. It'll make her strong. And you, know. you mentioned that you serve on the school board. How do you have time do to do all this? I sit. I serve on the school board. I don't have time for it. I make time. It's tough. I, you know, I'm trying to change education. I'm trying to change how we approach education. I think we cookie cut the way we teach our kids, and we're always amazed why 40% of our kids are failing because right. they don't learn that way, and yeah. they need more hands-on, and we need more project-based learning, and we That's need to great. connect to culture and make people feel confident and I have some really great programs that I do in New Mexico for YDI which gives kids confidence and a kid with confidence can do absolutely anything. That's right. right. Oh, you're That's just right. like super dad, super citizen, super, super actor. Funny. <laughs> super funny. Well we're going to talk know. more about your comedy uh, when we come back. More okay. with Michael <laughs> Steven Tata <laughs> right when we come back.